Oi. The Minnesota Fighting Vikings are set to dominate and destroy the New Orleans Saints uh, at Tottenham Stadium in London on Sunday afternoon. Well, afternoon there. Morning time right here in the great state of Minnesota. Central time zone, the only time zone that matters. We want to run through what the Vikings practice plans are as well as travel schedule. Plus, I actually think that it's going to be a big advantage for the team uh, uh, going out there on short notice. uh, And the Saints have been out there uh, since early in the week. And so they're getting used to their circadian rhythms. But I actually think that the Vikings quick trip is actually going to work out in their favor. And we'll get to why here. But outline of the Vikings London plan. So they're going to have their normal Wednesday, Thursday practice. So. Sunday game, you generally practice Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Travel Saturday if applicable, or if it's a home game, just chill. Uh, And then you play the game on Sunday. So the Vikings will have a quasi-normal week. Normal practice Wednesday, normal practice Thursday. They're going to fly out Thursday night. And now it's uh, about an eight-hour flight from Minneapolis to London. And, of course, the Vikings are going to be decked out in, in the best possible air travel They'll be good to go, man. So they'll be comfortable. Right? So they'll, they'll each have their pods. They'll, they'll be able to sleep on the flight over. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, and <clears throat> we'll get into the Vikings plans uh, with sleep schedules, circadian rhythms, all that stuff. They'll arrive Friday morning, London time, and then they'll have Friday practice there, get acclimated. They'll have all, also have that Saturday to get used to uh, being over there in the U.K. And then Sunday, 2.30 U.K. time uh, will be the game against the Saints. Now, the plan is they're going to immediately fly home. So just for ease of math, Let's say between the game and locker rooms and travel, at, let's say that's six and a half hours, right? So say they're on a plane on the tarmac taken off from London at about 9 p.m. their time. So they'll land here in Minnesota about 6 p.m. their time or midnight here uh, on Monday morning. So overall, I mean, it, it probably is going to work out okay in terms of getting ready for the Bears week five. Because if there is any jet lag, time zone shenanigans, the Vikings will have Monday and Tuesday uh, to rest up. Then they're back at it. Normal week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday practice. And also they don't have to travel uh, for next week, which is nice. Uh, so the Bears come into historic U.S. Bank Stadium. And then Kevin Seifert. ESPN NFL Nation, who is not Carl Gerbschmidt, uh, he went in depth with Tyler Williams, the Vikings Executive Director of Player Health and Performance, who has really done a really good job of overhauling the, the Vikings, uh, their uh, their plans of preparation for all the players, what, what they eat, what they sleep, uh, how they sleep, uh, all, all that stuff, right? But uh, blah, 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 a trip to London. Uh, a quick thread on his comments uh, and why the Vikings aren't leaving until Thursday night. Uh, in his previous job with the Rams, Williams did the London trip four times, spent the week twice, and did the short version twice. His clear recommendation was the short version. The longer you're over there, the more fires you have to put out, he said. Our goal is to keep the rhythm the same. Players will mostly have the normal schedule this week. Instead of leaving for home Thursday, they'll leave for the airport. 7 p.m. charter departure. Lights dimmed immediately on flight. Shades shut. Uh, Things that affect circadian rhythm is light exposure and melatonin, Williams said. 8 a.m. scheduled arrival at London's uh, Stratzenswell. Uh, Stansted, that, actually that wasn't that hard, airport. Stansted arrival will shorten local travel based on other logistics. We'll have an activation protocol to get bodies moving Friday a.m. The Vikings lobbied the NFL for uh, a buy near midseason, not after London, at Williams' recommendation. With this new 17-week schedule, he said, it's a long season. If you have that buy right away, it makes for a long time period without a break. Now, the last time, last two times the Vikings played in London, 2013-2017, they had the buy right afterwards, but you're starting to see teams in recent years uh, eschew the bye week right after the London game and have it normally later on in the season. The Vikings are doing just that. So I trust Williams in this spot, and uh, it it makes sense uh, travel-wise why the Vikings are delaying it going out Thursday night because the guys are relatively keeping their schedule the same, and uh, I don't think that it's going to affect them on Sunday, and I don't think that's going to bleed over and have an effect on them uh, Chicago uh, Week 5. For your thoughts on our thoughts, Vikings travel and practice plans – but your thoughts on our thoughts, Vikings travel and practice plans for London week. Let us know your thoughts on our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.